okay so let's take a look at the readable package in our language so first thing we are going to open our studio you can open your typical arch ui uh, depending on which method you prefer you can install your package through our studios packages section or you can type in install dot packages and here you have to pass data dot table right and then you hit enter that should install the data table package now next thing you have to call for the library right once the package is installed you can find data table here right now here let's clear this and then go for library and then data table right that means we have it installed and it is being suggested and here you see data table right now what we can do is we can print to check its current version so package version and then here we pass on within single quote data table right so if we enter we get the package version you already got this through simply calling library data table but we just added one more command to show you how to find out package version or any package for that matter so let's clear console now next thing is we'll try to create table or tabular data from a list so what we'll do is let's say i have a list name list a and basically it is a list of numbers right and okay and then hit enter and then list underscore b right and here we type in a b b c then c d then d e right and if i hit enter we got those two lists now what we need to do is we need to create dt which is data table and then call for data dot table and then we will have to pass on let's see our first column being v1 where list a would be and v2 where list b would be right and that should be included within our data table right now if i simply call dt or simply type in print dt we get tabular version of this list right now let's also do further operations with our data table package let's clear the console now what oh, let's go with iris data set right so if we call for data iris we are now going to call for dt and then as data table and then pass on our iris data set right so once we do that we got that data within our dt and here you see it is now displayed within tabular format now one more thing we can do is check whether there are any missing values or any values so for that what we will do is we will simply clear the console and type in any any goes for dt and you see it shows false next thing if i want to take similar data from let's say data set of um, empty cars so what i will do is let's see if i call for data empty cars so we will have data frame that stores data from empty cars right and now if i want to convert this data frame into data table what i can do is simply call for y as data table and then simply call for df right so what it will do is basically it called that particular data frame and now it will be converted into table so we managed to convert our data frame into 
table right so it gets table output right uh, next thing is converting your particular table back into data frame so for that we use as data frame and then we pass on y right so we get that output now if we get want to get all the tables in the memory we make use of tables and it will show you what are the available tables we have basically it is going to show you the most recent iris data set and let's see if i go for dtf read and within this we pass on d and then forward slash sorry so backward slash and medic dot csv if we hit enter we got the data now what we can do is print head dt right and you get for six rows of your medic data right now next thing we can do is we clear the console now we can see if we can export this particular set of data right so what we will do is we will simply call for f right and then we go for dt and then here we go for let's say d drive then forwards backward slash and here xyz dot csv let's see if gets exported based on our medic data now if we go for our d drive here see xyz.csv if we open that it should open right and it has managed to export the data properly so we are pretty much ready with that now next thing is describing this data so let's clear the console n row and we pass on dt right we got 100 row out of that data similarly n column and then pass dt let's see how many column it has six columns now we can also take names of those columns right so we got six names from that table now let's see if i want to just get first six rows and here we got now let's clear the console again and let's try to find unique values out of our data as you can see all of the data shows that it has unique values all different entities for first name last name also health id diagnosis medicine all of them are unique so these are some of the functions that you can use with data table function within our package now let's take a look at another csv file so for that what we will do is we will try to call for dt then f read and then let's say d drive and then backward slash and there is cast.csv file now reason i am using this file is because previous file didn't have much good data to explore so let's take this and view it and here you see what we have here is list of cards their models their minimum price maximum price density code then length horsepower engines yes so pretty much a lot of data so let's clear the console and coming back to this what if i want to get the column based on a condition that says um, let's see model right so if i want to sort that out what i can do is i can simply use dt and then within dt i will try to have 
a condition that says list and then model right so model right so it's listed here now what we will do is we will get for six rows of this so with print we can go with head and dt sorry dt and here you see model that shows for six of this data right so based on our condition we got some output from this particular table right now similarly what if I want to sort some of the table data so I can do that so let's clear the console and now what I will do is I will again call for DT then dash then DT then within square bracket let's say I try to order based on price so order and we call for price so again I'm not sure if it's uppercase P for price so let's hope it works right then here uh, one more thing is we have to get okay so price not found so we'll try to check again right so let's again price not found let's see if we can order based on something else so let's go with DT and sorry it will show me the last return so let's say if I want to get the output based on order price I will just again call for a read and then D drive and cast.csv right and if I call for DT, let's try to find something, right? So if I want to order based on horsepower, right? So, or if there is any price, as you can see, price here is listed like this, right? So we'll have to clear console and then go for DT and then DT data then go for order right so order and then price right and now if we call for print and then head and then DT then it should be our data sorted based on price right now let's go ahead and take a look at one more thing which is replacing our missing values with zero now what we can do is we will try to find out missing values and replace them with zero so let's clear the console now here let's use dt then our condition which is going to be let's say it's dot na and within that we pass on dt and let's say the condition is if there is something missing we replace that with zero right and hit enter okay now if we try and print this let's see print and within that what we'll do is we will try to use head and then dt but I just want to take specific set of columns right so let's go with that because this would be big data and so we have to limit it and we have managed to do that right so there were a few things missing which now replaced by zero zero so you get the idea how to work with some of the data imported from CSV